Hi guys, Toby here from Outside Creations and today we're going to be showing you five super easy ways to stop lag in Premiere Pro. So the first tip we have is to use the toggle effects on and off button. This is super easy, it's just one click and will really speed up your editing. So now we're in Premiere Pro, you just want to click the plus icon and drag the FX button down into your panel. So all it takes is one button and all your effects will be toggled off such as colour grading, warp stabiliser etc and this will really speed things up for you. So our next tip is dropping the playback quality. So how you want to do this in Premiere is go to the bottom right hand corner of your preview panel and click 1 8 or 1 quarter quality. So our third tip is the way in which you edit. So we really like to assemble our clips first, then do sound and then colour grade and then after that do our effects like neat video and warp stabilise. So this saves the most labour intensive processes till last and it means you're not going to struggle to edit through your Premiere Pro project the whole time. Our fourth tip is editing using your fastest drive and connection you have available to you. In an ideal world you'll be editing off an internal SSD as these are really fast, but if you run out of space or have an older computer you can edit off an external hard drive which again preferably would be SSD and try and use the fastest cable possible so something like Thunderbolt, USB-C or USB-3. Our final tip is done with adjustment layers. So for when you're colour grading, you want to grab an adjustment layer and drag it over the top of all of your clips. You're going to want to apply a LUT in the creative panel and then get your kind of base colour grade. What you then want to do is cut up the adjustment layer according to all your different clips and then you can do the small individual changes to colour grading. And now if you want to speed up your editing, you can toggle off that whole adjustment layer which will take away all your colour grading but will keep your effects such as warp stabilise and neat video. This is really useful when you're changing certain clips but you don't actually need to see the colour grade that you're working with. So if you're using the five tips we've just given you, that should hopefully speed up your Premiere Pro editing process and make things a lot more fluid for you. We hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.